Good afternoon, my name is Tom Brinsonoff, Certified Master Mechanic out of Reading, Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to diagnose um, your vehicle's, vehicle's noises. Um, the simplest way I can tell you, a lot of garages, um, they diagnose um, vehicle noises um, out of sheer experience. Um, over the years, as you're working on a vehicle, you'll be able to pick out uh, certain screeching noises um, might be typical to a brake noise. Um, wear indicators hitting the rotor, you, you pretty much get familiar with that. Noise is pretty common. Um, you've got belt squeals, real typical to pick out. Um, what I'm trying to say is, over the years, as you're working on these things as a professional mechanic, you'll, you'll be able to pick out the noises. Now, as a car owner, um, as you're driving your vehicle over the, over the next couple of years, so you're driving for several years, you'll notice a vehicle starts to develop noises. And just pay attention to them. If you take your car to a shop uh, with a certain noise and they tell you well, you need a belt, um, just keep that noise in the back of your head um, for future, future reference um, if you hear that noise again. But there's, there's other equipment out there that a lot of garages use when they can't really identify the noise and they call them EVAs. And it stands for EVA, Electronic Vibration Analyzer. They can use it, put that little um, indicators on the dash and it, it tells them basically what kind of vibration it is. Um, the vibrations are done by um, almost like harmonics. Every type of um, noise that a vehicle makes is almost like an identifier. So they can take that hertz of a noise, well it's measured in hertz, and it basically will identify what, time, what kind of um, vehicle noise it is whether it's um, bearings, uh, belts, um, suspension, whatever it is. But uh, it's basically, how do you diagnose them? It's basically out of, just out of sheer experience, out of doing it for years. Um, that's unfortunately the, the small truth in the whole matter. It's just basically out of experience. That's basically how you diagnose vehicle noises.